Good evening sa ating lahat. This is the Wednesday edition of our Stock Wentuhan. Today is April 7, 2021. So, ayan. Hello everyone and good evening. Yun. So, welcome, welcome sa ating uh, usual tambayan tuwing MWF alas 8 ng gabi. So, I hope eh, nakapag, uh, nakapag-dinner na kayo dahil ako kumakain pa ako hanggang ngayon. Meron akong nabili na tawag dito na buko pandan sa may baba so <laughs> kumukuha ako pa konti-konti <laughs> yan okay so check lang natin no? 30 minutes to go Irene thank you for tuning in I hope nandito ka pa <laughs> yan si uh, Eva naman hello good evening good evening classmates yan Nice, nice. Uh, dumadami na tayo. Tess Espiritu, hello, good evening din sa'yo. I hope you are having a good time. Jano, hello, good evening. Natuwa naman ako sa classmate. Nalala ko tuloy yung hugot ni Harry Roque. At least ako natulog. Ako natulog lang sa klase. Hindi nagmahal ng kaklase. <laughs> Ayos ha. <laughs> okay yan, okay yan. Ayan. So, si Chris, nag number 3. Ba't may number 3 agad? Hinulaan mo na agad ha. <laughs> Yun, sige. So, antay-antay na tayo ng konti guys ha, and then we will start shortly. Hello Alex, good evening sa'yo. And dun sa mga nag, uh, nag-dinner, mga kasama natin nag-dinner, hello sa inyong lahat. Sensya na kung merong mga ano, kung may mala ASMR na natunugan dito, no? kasi kumakain ako ng buko pandan eh. So, <laughs> Hello Lance, good after good afternoon tuloy. Good evening. Jan Reyes, MM tsaka dito, mamaya pag-usapan natin 'yan. So, ano muna ha? Wag uh, uh, at tune in ka lang, mamaya pag-usapan natin yung mga stock request. Ayun. Hello Claire, good evening sa Anong address mo padala ko yung corn silog? Uy, parang wait lang yan, corn beef ba yan tinutukoy mo o corn as in mais? <laughs> hello Atos, good evening Jerry, good evening Louie, hello Richard Arya, mayong gabi Hello Chris, good evening Brian, Rafi Vicente, and I thought why biglang lumipad si MPI oh, nga, Actually, nag- nagulat nga ako kay MPI kanina Pero hindi pa ako nakapag-research no? Silipin natin mamaya sa MPI Sino sa inyo naka-tune in kanina sa ano natin sa sa end of day ng market recap kanina ng alas 12:30 or kanina ng alauna meron ba dito Parang tingin ko meron eh Sorry ah makakalimutin talaga ako Mama <laughs> masyadong ano or busy lang ako sa pagkain kaya hindi ko masyado na naiisip <laughs> Okay. Sige. Hello sa iyo, Romel. Good evening. Land, later on, pag-usapan natin si Land. Make sure na nakatunin ka pa rin hanggang doon sa sock request natin na, na session, ha? Para, ano, ma-make sure natin na mabanggit si, uh, si Land. Okay? Hello, Crystal. Good, ano ba? Crystal, no? Uh, hello and good evening. God bless sa iyo. Start na agad. APL <laughs> Excited Jerry ah. <laughs> Sige later ano, may mga pag-uusapan tayo na medyo something new or I mean hindi mas something new no pero as in bagong-bago break in break in news <laughs> ikaw nga. Pero later on pag-usapan natin 'yan. Ayan. Alex, dami pong volume sa AC no o nga eh. Uh, actually 100 plus ang um, 100 100 plus million siya kanina, di ba? So, yeah, mukhang gumagana yung galaw ni uh, ni AC no. Ang nga lang, lumalapit na siya sa resistance ng magkano ba? 8? Diba? Hello, Sophia. Good evening. Yun. Uh, Louie, present. Hello and good evening sa'yo. Si Ron, nandito din. Hello, good af- good evening. Good PM. Lester, magandang gabi rin. Ayan. Okay. Sige. So, it's already 
Sige, simulan na natin para mas mar- makarami tayo. But before we actually do go there, again, alam nyo na yan, quick check lang, audio, technicals, everything. No? So, kung malinaw lahat, I know may background, may, ma- may background music tayong sinalang dito. Um, if okay lang naman yan sa inyo, uh, and I hope it is, no? papress naman ako number 6, guys. Um, number 6 kung maayos para lang at least alam ko and makapag-adjust na tayo agad kung may kailangang kailangang ayusin, di ba? Ayan. Okay. Hintay lang tayo ng konti ah. <laughs> Ito mo si Arya, excited number 3 number agad. <laughs> Ayan. <laughs> Ayan, salamat, salamat. Wait lang ah, susubo lang muna ako bago tayo mag-start. Okay. So, ayan. Maraming salamat sa mga nag-number 6. Ayan. So, sana ako. Hello everyone once again. No Good evening sa ating lahat. And welcome to our Stock one session. Ang lagi nating tambayan every MWF ng gabi alas 8. Diba? This is a regular show dito sa Stock Silog where we live stream parehas ito sabay sa Facebook at saka sa YouTube. No? Every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at around 8pm. Pinag-uusapan natin dito mga special topics, Q&A, stock reviews, at kung ano-ano pa. Kung baguhan ka man or experienced na trader, you'll definitely learn something here. And syempre, remember ha, re- everything that we talk about here are not recommendations but for research purposes only. Ikaw pa rin yung pipindot ng buy or sell button so please, think before you click. And syempre, if you find this session helpful, please follow our social media accounts. Especially sa YouTube where we post yung timestamp nung bawat topic natin or questions or stock calls na mapag-uusapan today. Okay, share the stream para mas marami tayong matulungan. When you actually subscribe and share the stream, this actually helps us continue to deliver the videos and content for free. Ayan. So ayan, um just to help and support the the channel or the page, uh, if you are in Facebook, uh please like and comment. No, and uh, kung nasa YouTube naman kayo, please make sure na naka-subscribe na tayo no? and uh, we hit on that notification bell para at least every time we go live or mag-upload ako ng mga bagong videos, eh, updated kayo and uh, makakapag-follow along. Ayan. Okay, so having said all that, let's move forward. Question of the day tayo. Ayan. Kanina, we have seen what happened kay SEC. Okay, so our question of the day revolves around that. Okay, so question of the day is given what happened kay SEC kanina, doon sa mga hindi nakakalam kung ano nangyari kay SEC, uh, nag-down ito ng around 8%. Okay, down siya kanina ng 8%. Now, uh, we know that SEC is giving out dividend, no? And kanina yung ex-date niya. And because of that, bungo, nahulog, no? nag-drop talaga significantly yung presyo ni SEC. Okay? Now, the question here is, despite what happened here, or because of what happened here, do you still think that dividend is still worth your time? Kung halimbawa, babagsak naman pala yung presyo niya. Okay? So, ayan, this is our question of the day. If you would like to participate, and I hope you would, comment nyo lang QOTD, then your answer. Okay, so again, question of the day is, given what happened to SEC kanina, yung drop ng presyo, do you still think that dividend is still worth your time? Okay, if yes, why? If no, why? Okay, para at least may ano lang tayo, uh, makita ko lang din yung, yung, yung thought process ninyo. And then of course, I'll show or I'll share mine also. Ayan. Okay, so while we are waiting for that, mag ano man tayo uh, very 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 quick na market recap sino yun hmm. yan okay so let's have a very quick market recap kanina no ang market natin we are up 61 61 points or 6651 up by almost 1%. Value turnover, money piece, 5.81. Okay? Oh, we are sell net foreign sell kanina, no? Of about 600 million. 
Okay. Now, on the stat lines naman, we can see here, worst loser natin, CBCP. Kaso isang trade lang yan, 30%. And followed by SEC. Ito yung main topic natin for today, which is nag-down ito ng 8%. Okay. Now, if you're wondering kung bakit or ano nangyari dito kay SEC, that is because of the X date. No? Uh, if we recall, si SEC nag-announce ito ng dividend of about, at least nung time na yun, mga around 8 or 9% dividend yield. Uh, both regular and special cash dividend. No? And uh, dahil today ang nakaset na X date, so nalaglag no? si SEC by almost that much also, 8.31%. Okay? And then, apart from SEC, we have seen OPMB, OVDMB, MG, Reg, Prim, and the rest. No? Next, top gainers naman natin for today, uh, quite interesting. Nagkaroon bigla, I mean, biglang nagkaroon ng volume itong si UPM with 14, 491 trades. So, up siya ng 25%. Tapos, followed by Geo, Primex, Ever, WPI, PPC, and the rest. Ayan. Karina, may, nag, uh, may nagtanong about land. No? Uh, for land, tama ba? Yun yung tanong kanina, uh, kung ano nangyari kay land. Actually, halos wala. Ganun pa rin naman eh. Uh, I mean, there is no significant news that I have seen. May nag-post nung nakaraan. Um, this is related kay, kay land and kay CDC. Okay? So, basically kasi si CDC siya yung mother company. Si land ay, kumbaga, subsidiary ni, uh, ni CDC. No? So, pareha silang lumilipad. And uh, there was an article na nilabas ni Accurity nung nakaraan. Uh, this was posted actually na na post ito nung Monday no uh, but i haven't had a chance to to look at it nandito dito ba parang wala na uh, eto Ayan. so according to accurate ito ito naman yung gustong gusto kong ma, 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 nababasa no um This is because though of the sudden interest then a sudden interest on land and CDC is driven by the notion that the low interest rate regime will be here to stay. So low interest rate pagdating doon sa mga property sector. Now, uh, I post a question also nung nung Monday kung ito pala yung reason then bakit si land at saka si CDC lang. Okay? So when I try to look back and review further Uh, ang sabi dito sa article was that silang dalawa yung napaglaroan dahil sila may pinakamaliit na market cap, which is just below 4, mil- 4 billion pesos. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. So, ayan. Uh, I'll let you read through this one, no? Pero, uh, again, for me, ha, personally, personally, for accuracy, I mean, for for land and, uh, and CDC, medyo alanganin ako doon sa binigay nilang reason why kasi for me ang babaw nun, no na because of this sudden interest on because of this ano low interest rate i don't think uh, ito yon or maybe kung ito man then parang again ang babaw kasi <laughs> yun yung yung point ko no so ayan i hope na merong pang iba pero because of that the movement of Uh, what we are seeing now with land and CDC are quite similar no doon sa mga na hype ng mga stocks before okay so ingat again um, if you are familiar on how to play yung mga highly parabolic runs then okay yon you can write along kung hindi ka pa marunong then please monitor pag-aralan mo muna before ka pumasok yan so ingat ha, sa mga ganung klase ng stock yon next is yung ah ito so yan basically that's what have happened kanina no uh, we have quite a good market kanina reminder no we are still on a sideways movement pagdating sa general index natin we are not yet on a bullish run <laughs> magkaiba there's a difference between an up day up day ibig sabihin is up tayo, up yung market natin by 61 points versus a bull run. Okay? So, magkaibang bagay yon. Related, pero magkaiba. So, in my view, 
we had an up day, pero we are still on a sideways. Yan. Okay, so having said that, ito. This one naman, uh, lumabas ito kanina, no? Uh, kaninang hapon, if I'm not mistaken, no? This is the list of the Forbes uh, billionaires, no? For 2021. So, billionaires list ng 2021. And uh, as we have seen here, syempre, nanguna pa rin, J- Jeff Bezos of Amazon, $188 billion. Ito yung kanilang net worth, ha? Net worth. Elon Musk, 169. The Arnold family, uh, of uh, one, ng around 163. Tapos Bill Gates, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, si, uh, si Lolo Idol, uh, si Warren Buffet with 99 billion. Larry Ellison, uh, Larry Page, and the rest. Yan. And then, syempre, meron din tayong version dito sa Philippines wherein, based on the list here, may mga pumasok din, uh, mga Pinoy. Okay? Now, here's the thing, no? Uh, what I'd like you to, what I, I'd like to hear from you is this. Okay? Laro tayo ng konti, ha? Parang kumbaga, eh, ano lang tayo, um, review for of some sort. Okay? Re-reviewin natin kung kilala nyo tong mga to, Uh, isa-isahin natin ha, from the lowest uh, si uh, Injap hanggang kay Manny Villar. Okay? Ang gagawin natin dito, uh, identify natin kung ano ang mga stock na hawak, kung anong company na listed sa PSE ang hawak nila. Okay? Clear yun ha? Anong, for example, for Injap, anong, uh, anong mga companies or anong stock yung hawak ni Injap? Okay. Ganun yung ganun yung gagawin natin. Okay? Now, I know, uh, there is a delay once again uh, from pag nagsalita ako and on sa sa pag nagko-comment na kayo. Okay? So there's a delay. So ganito gawin natin. Uh, let's use a keyword para at least alam ko kung para saan yung sina- sinabi ninyong stock. Okay? So, uh, let's start with Injap. Okay? Uh, let's ano na lang ganto let's uh, type in jap i n j a p tapos yung mga stock niya okay so umpisahan ko umpisahan ko okay so in jap m m e d e d m p r Okay, DD, uh, MM, uh, DD, MPR. Ayan. So, ayan, ha, pinost ko na dyan. Uh, ito yung example lang naman. No? Example lang yan. Ayan, so, ganyan yung mangyayari. Okay? So, ayan, uh, well, binigay ko na yung ano, no? May alam pa ba kayo? Wala na. Injap. Ito lang yata, eh, di ba? Sige, silipin ko ha. <laughs> Load scalper, hindi, uh, wala yan kay dito. I mean, hindi yan kay dito. <laughs> Mag, baka may magalit sa'yo dyan. <laughs> Ayan. Hmm, okay. So, sige. Uh, umpisa natin. Unahin natin si Ricardo Po. Okay? So, type, uh, keyword natin dyan is Po. P-O. Okay, tapos uh, anong tingin yung mga stocks na hawak ni Ricardo po? Uh, he is worth 1.1 billion, no? I think nasa nasa Forbes list din siya last year. Hindi ko lang maalala kung kung pang ilang number siya, no. Pero nandoon din 'yon. Anyone? Ricardo po. Hmm, let's see here. But dito? <laughs> I don't think so. Hindi yan kayo po. Uh, CNPF? No? Tama ba? Hindi ko alam kung kanino si CNPF ha, pero mukhang hindi. Bakit? Dito talaga yung gusto mo, Arya, no? <laughs> uh, kay Michael naman, APL and MM? Okay. 
Century Pacific. Ah, okay. Tama ba? I I thought kasi to be honest ako wala, hindi hindi ako nag-review. I mean, hindi ko alam. Ah, uh, kumbaga stock knowledge lang yung sasabihin ko. Uh, that's why I could be wrong. Okay? Okay. Hindi ba ito yung kay po yung sa ano? Pure gold, iba ba 'yon? Silipin ko nga. Kasi to be honest, hindi ko ano ano. Uh, sino siya ulit? Ricardo po. Oh nga, no, Century Pacific. Yung ano, Century Tuna. Nice, nice, nice. Ang galing. Oo nga, G, ang tama ka doon. Lucio ko pala. <laughs> salamat, salamat. Ayan. So, ayan. Uh, Lucio, Lucio ko tuloy. Si uh, uh, Ricardo po is on CNPF. Pero yun lang ba? Hmm... Century Pacific, Cathay, pero wala naman sa'yo nun. And also, Arthaland, Alco. So, meron din siya. Tapos, ay hindi, uh, Century Pacific, okay. Hmm, ayun. Nice, nice, nice. Ayan, okay, sige. Let's move on. Um, Roberto Ongpin. So, keyword natin, Ongpin. Anong company yung hawak ni Roberto Ongpin? Stock knowledge lang ah. Walang dayaan. <laughs> Ako lang mandadaya. <laughs> Roberto Ongpin. Anong anong stock yung hawak niyan? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Sabi ni Gian o web? Web nga ba? PHR? Hmm. 168 mall? Um, AP Securities? Hin- hindi. <laughs> ang ping yun. Uy. <laughs> Jerry ang ping. <laughs> si Jap. Yun yung AP Securities. <laughs> Hmm, ayan, sabi ni Irma Philweb Parang crony ni Marcos <laughs> uh, Atok <laughs> Alpha Well, to be honest, hindi ko rin kilala Si Roberto Ongpin So, let's have a quick check Ongpin Ayan Mm-hmm Alpha Land. Okay. Alpha Land daw eh. So, Alpha Land tapos parang yun lang ah. And yet, ang laki ng net worth niya no. Angelo seryoso yon online sabong. Kanya rin ba yon? Kasi hindi to be honest, uh, wala, uh, I have no idea. Uh, complete stranger sa akin nung si Roberto Ongpin. Uh, AB? AB Capital? China ta na hawak niya? Minsan hindi ko alam kung seryoso kayo nang nagbibiro lang kayo ha? kasi I have I really have no idea. <laughs> uh, anyways, sige, let's move on. Um, sayang sa oras. Uh, ayun, Lance Gokongwei. Ayun. So, masyado mahaba yung Gokongwei Lance na lang. So, ayun, Lance, ano ang hawak niyang stock? imagine no um, pasok pa rin siya sa Forbes 2021 kahit na ang laki ng losses niya last year uh, let's see here so sabi ni Kamatisman URC mm-hmm. 
Seb, yep. RRHI? Uh, yeah, Seb. Sleeping nga natin. To be honest, ang alam ko lang kay, um, kay Lance is yung, yung Seb. No? So, I'm not sure about um, URC, RLC, na RRHI, no? Sinipin nga dito. Uh, RRHI. Sino ba siya? Mm, Rectors Management. Rubina Gokong Way. Well, yeah. Oo, pwede na rin. Kahit paano, ano. Kasi, asawa naman niya yata to. Tama ba? Or kapatid. Ah, okay. Si, so, si Lance pala ang chairman. Ayun. Okay. Okay. RRHI. Ano pa yung nandi dito? So, Seb definitely uh, familiar ako dyan. Sabi ni Luisa RLC. Chairman o nga, no? Mm, RLC. Nice, nice, nice. Tapos, syempre, URC. Kung URC din, that means JDS. Tama ba? Yeah. And, syempre, JGS din yan. Andyan si URC din, that means, andyan din si... Ayan. Ah, si Lance Kokongway. Ayan. Okay. Nice, nice. Yun. May ko lang din nalaman yun, ha? May iba. Inigo Sobel. Ayan. May nag-comment kanina dito, no? Uh, ano, Zobel pala ang keyword, ha? Uh, for Inigo Zobel. So, Zobel. May nag-comment kanina na wala daw si, uh, yung Ayala, no? Actually, o oh nga, no? Wala yung Ayala dito. Gulatin ako, wala. Sino si Inigo Zobel? Or, I mean, anong mga hawak niyang stock? Keyword natin, Zobel, ha? Hmm, interesting. Sabi ni Angela, Inigo Zobel is at TFHI. Uh, siya yung may ha- si TFHI yung may hawak na majority share na, ng SMC. Talaga? Hindi ko alam na si uh, Inigo Zobel yun. Lasal? Talaga? Hindi ko rin alam ha. Um, Zobel Asen. Uh, MWC ang alam ko Joy na ibenta na niya yung majority shareholdings ng ng Ayala eh ng Ayala sa MWC kay Razon Hello, sorry guys, naminapindot na naman ako. Okay, so ayan, nagbabalik po tayo. No? Inigo Ayala, sige hanapin natin si Inigo Ayala kasi to be honest, hindi ko rin alam. Uh, sabi ni uh, Joy dito ay TFHI, no? Si T- TFHI, Top Frontier. Oo nga, nice, nice. Thank you, Joy and Angela. Ito, this is something that uh, hindi ko alam. No? Director lang pala si Ramon. Ang I really thought na si Ramon ang ang may-ari ng Top Frontier. Kasi alam ko na siya yung majority ni ni San Miguel. Yung pala si ang chairman is si Inigo. While president and CEO pala dito si Ramon ang. Okay. Nice, nice. Something new, no? Salamat, salamat. Hmm. Subel Ayala is in BPI Globe. Subel sa Globe. Alam ko Ayala eh. 
it could be the same the same family I mean ano sila ano Jaime Augusto Zubaldi Ayala mm-hmm. pwede okay sige let's move on um oh yan Ramon Ang Ramon Ang siguro man alam nyo na saan siya diba uh, keyword natin Ang para mas mabilis lang Mm-hmm. Ramon Ang So, meron ba rito? Uh, Oo nga ron, nawala kanina Pero eto, nakabalik na tayo agad Sabi ni Alex, cousin sila ni Jaime Ayala Yep So, for Michael, sabi niya Ramon Ang, SMC Yep Picor, yep, siya din Eagle Cement, talaga? Uy Buti kayo alam niyo yung mga ganito, no? Ako hindi ko alam, to be honest. <laughs> hmm. Oo nga, no? Nice, nice. Ito, hindi ko talaga alam yan. Ang alam ko lang, SMC tsaka Picor. Hmm, sabi ni Michael dito, TFHI, parang executive. Siya yung CEO. CEO ng uh, TFHI. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep, uh, yung SMC Group. Yep, si si Ramon Ang. ICT? Talaga? Razon yun eh. <laughs> Razon yun, Alex, eh. <laughs> Ayan. Pero yeah, uh, SMC Group, essentially, di ba? Ayan. Okay. Next is... Oh, uh, ito naman siguro alam nyo na, di ba? Tony Tan Kak Tiong. Uh, keyword lang natin, Tony. Okay. Siguro naman, alam nyo na kung sino to, di ba? Uh, ito, given na to, eh. Baka may magsabi ng ano lang dyan ha, ng tawag ito, mang inasal. <laughs> mm-hmm, no? mm-hmm, JFC and co-chair ng DD, yep. Mm-hmm, yep. Ayan, hindi ko na isisilipin kasi alam naman natin yan, di ba? Sobrang basic na, basic. Yon, okay. Oh, next. Ito, so, siguro naman, alam nyo na rin to. The C family. Ang dami nila. Elizabeth C, Teresita, Henry, Harley, tapos si Herbert C. Ayan. So, keyword natin, SY, C. Anong company ang hawak ng C family? Sobrang dali na na ito, so hindi ko na patatagalin ha. So, for the C-Family, of course, uh, we have the group nga ng, uh, ng SM Group, no? SM Group of Companies. So, SM, SMC, ah, SMC tuloy. SM, SMPH, um, BDO China Bank. Generally, sa kanila din ba? Alam ko kasi may ano sila, may insurance ang ano eh, ang C family eh. chairman. Hmm. Hmm. Alam ko meron sila eh. O, o baka mali lang ako. No. Uh, Oo oh, nga, to go. Kanya lang nga rin pala. Yeah. To, tama yun, tama yun. Okay. Okay, move on tayo. Andrew Tan. Okay, keyword natin Tan. So, anong hawak ni Andrew Tan? So, 
sabi niya Matis man uh, AGI mm-hmm. Meg yep M- MY talaga hindi ko alam ha silipin nga natin MY hindi ko kalala kung sino yung may ari na ito eh Wala eh. Oliver Tan to eh. Sa, sa Edgar Saavedra, ang chairman nila. So, wala. Yan. Sino pa ba? Sabi ni Arya, AGI, Emp, and uh, Meg. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To be honest nga, I really thought na kaya niyang lampasan itong si... Uh, I mean ni uh, ni Andrew Tan no ang uh, ang Villiers no kasi sobrang diversified at saka magaganda yung mga hawak ng ano ng maganda yung grupo ng holding firms niya di ba Sige let's uh, move on Lucio Tan Keyword natin ay Tan ulit Uh, Lucio na lang. Lucio Tan. So, Lucio. Anong mga hawak na companies ni Lucio Tan? May nagtarong dati, no? Mag- Relatives pa tong si Lucio Tan at saka si Andrew Tan. Parang hindi naman. Magkapilido lang siguro sila. Yon. Okay, so we are seeing here LTG. Mm-hmm. Sabi ni Luisa naman, PAL, uh, MAC, and PNB. PAL o oh, oh, MAC? Talaga? Hindi ko alam yun ha. MAC. Ay, pat maka ito. Oh, o nga no. Macro Asia, ganyan yun pala 'yon. Nice, nice, nice. Tsaka PNB, yep. Mm-mm. Okay. Ah, dalawa na lang. Oh, game. Ah, uh, second to the last. Enrique Razon. So Razon. Ano mga hawak niyang companies? Hawak na company ni Enrique Razon. ICT and Bloom. Uh-huh. Yep. So, ang lakas pala ng ano niya, no? 5 billion dollars yung ICT ICT and uh, ABI. J, ano yung ABI? May ko lang narinig yung company na yun, ha? Ano ba yan? Ano man, ha? Anong anong ano company yun? Hindi ko alam. <laughs> Francis iba yan. <laughs> Nagutom tuloy ako. Loko ka. Pero hindi yan. Hindi yan yung razon sa halo-halo. Aha. <laughs> Natawa ako dun. Uh, ICT and uh, eto bago lang to MWC. Updated na ba yun sa Edge? Hindi pa eh. Kasi di ba naibenta na yung majority shareholder, shareholdings ng Manila Water from the Ayalas papunta kay Razon. Yan. BRC? Vernon? Anong BRC? Ano naman ah? Ah, Asia Brewery. Oh, okay. Asia Brewery hindi ba under 'yon ng ano, LTG? Oh, mali lang ako. Asia Brewery. 
Asia Brewery. Under siya ng LTG. Pero ang chair niya ay si Razon. Eh, siya, wala eh. Yeah. Okay, anyways. Sige, uh, let's move na. Last one. Okay, eto na. Villar, syempre. Saan si Villar? Ilan ba hawak niya? Ang alam ko, dalawa lang eh. Ay, hindi, tatlo. Tatlo yung hawak niya. So, ngayon... Okay, sige. So, silipin ko ha. Uh, sabi ni Aria dito, VLL, naabot hanggang Mars. <laughs> uh, heaven at saka VLL. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Ang Camellia ba is under VLL? O iba pa yon. Uh, pop, 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 pop. Oo, pasok. So, under Vista Land ang Camellia Homes. Oh, tama. O nga, no? STR. Star Malls. Yung home ba kanino? Hindi ba kanya rin yun? Well, home? Yeah. Kay Villar din yun. All home. Yan. Okay. So, kung kay, kay Villar, we have VLL, home, at saka VLL, home, STR, and heaven. Ayan. So, yung tatlo. Nice, nice. Oh, well, uh, it's good to hear no, na kabisado nyo rin pala yung mga hawak ng stocks ng mga ng mga billionaires natin dito sa sa Pilipinas. Nice, good job. Good job, everyone. So, sige. Uh, let's move on na, no? Uh, para at least makarami tayo ang ating question of the day kanina. Yan. So, given what happened to SEC, is dividend still worth your time? no uh, doon sa mga hindi nakakaalam kung ano nangyari kay SEC kanina nahulog na ito 8% so down siya ng minus 8% following the um, X date so today kasi yung X date ng yeah, today kasi ang X date ng uh, tawag ito ng SEC no and uh, nahulog na siya Ayan. So, comment nyo lang QOTD tapos yung answers ninyo. Okay? Uh, may nakita na ako kanina eh na nagpost this. So, akit lang ako ng konti kasi nag uh, an tayo. Oops. Hala. Hindi na siya inaabot ng ano ko. Nawala. Ayan. So, Sorry guys, sana wala eh. Hanggang may limit lang yata to. Hmm. Wala na ito. Pakita ko sa inyo ha. Ayan. Ito na yung pinaka-recent. Hindi ko na yung maitaas. Sorry. Um, paano ba? Pa-repost na lang siguro guys para ano, uh, mabasa ko siya ulit. Pasensya na ha. Oh, wala. Hmm. Sige. Uh, sabi ni Aria, it depends on your trading style if you are into dividend plays and long term plays it's worth it but if you are on a day trade but if you are a day trader syempre hindi no. there are much better opportunities other than dividend plays mm-hmm. yeah that makes sense depende talaga siya dun sa sa style no na gusto niyang gawin na gusto niyang gawin at pwedeng gamitin yan for Timothy naman yes for long term but never have ball once kumalaw ng stock due to dividend announcement 
Mm, which have happened no on a several locations in the past couple of weeks. Diba? We have seen several stocks na nag-announce uh, na ng kanilang dividend. And ayun nga. One of them is, uh, of course, the SEC. Yun. Sabi ni uh, Joy, depende po if you are an investor and pang long-term ka. So, go kung gusto mo doon. Mm-hmm. For Angelo, QTD, I still hold SEC. Dividends really matter in the long run. Yeah, I would agree with this one. No? Sige, ganito. Uh, in the interest of time, uh, I'll, I'll share my thought around this. No? So, ayan. Alam, ayusin ko yung nahuhulog na yung microphone ko. Teka, ayan. Okay. So, for QOTD natin, no? um, given that, uh, given what happened to uh, to SEC, in my opinion, uh, dividend is still worth the time. No? Yun nga lang, just like what you have uh, mentioned also, uh, sabi nga ni na Arya, ni na Joy, na depende sa 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 trading style no if you are a long term dividend player or uh, short term na, na trader no? kasi the trading style matters uh eto uh, very quickly lang sabi ni Vernon does it usually happen that the stock goes down on x date now i'll go to that part no kasi actually yun din yung sasabihin ko after after nung part na yon no kasi uh, nangyayari lang itong part na to yung bagsak ng presyo kapag malaki yung dividend yield. Okay? Kasi di ba, if we recall si SEC nagbigay siya ng or inannounce niya siya, inannounce na niya yung part na yon, teka ha, silipin natin. Kailan niya inannounce? Noong March, ah, pa March 25. March 25 ba hindi ah? Ah, okay. So, March 25 nga niya in-announce. No? And nung March 25 kasi ang presyo ng SEC was prior date ha? So, 24. It was just 12 pesos. No? So, kung i-calculate natin yan, 125. Yeah. So... 1.25 So 1.25 tapos 12 pesos That is about 10% no no araw na yon Ngayon after that napansin natin lumipad naman yung presyo di ba the, the that day na in-announce yung yung dividend because of that big dividend yield announcement. Yun nga lang, eto ang masama dyan, no? Kasi, syempre, mas malaki yung dividend yield. Then, the the next concern is that yung presyo nun pwedeng bumaba by almost equivalent, no, doon sa dividend yield. Which is, yun nga, kaya siya bumaba today dahil doon sa X date. So to answer your question Vernon, yes. No, pero depende. Kung halimbawa yung dividend yield naman is nasa less than 3% lang, usually wala lang effect 'yon. Pero kapag nakikita natin to, 10% from the date of ano, from the previous date, from the previous closing price nung dividend announcement we should expect na magkakaroon ng ganyang klase ng, ng movement yung stock na yun. Okay? Now, having said that, ano yung worries natin next? Next will be GMA7. Okay? Kasi si GMA7, ang X date niya ay April 19. Okay? Okay? So, ayan, April 19, the expectation is, of course, baka matulad yan kay SEC na babagsak yung presyo din. Okay, kasi kailan yung April 19? That will be Monday, no? next Monday. 
Yan. So doon sa mga may hawak ng GMA7 na bumili lang for the for, for the purpose of uh, getting the dividend, then watch out for April 19. I'm not saying na mag- na babagsak siya, pero there is a good chance. Okay? Taking a cue on what happened kay SEC kanina. Okay. Again, kailan siya nangyayari kapag malaki ang dividend yield. Pero again, pag maliit lang, mga less than 3%, usually ano na lang yan. Bale, wala na yun. So, ayan. Okay? So, ayan. Uh, that's just a quick one. no? Ngayon, uh, it's already 8.51. Uh, parang gusto kong ano, no? Uh, try natin matapos ng maaga today. So, for now, Siguro you can, meron pa bang mga question pala before we go to the next ano, next step or next na topic natin. Sabi ni Irene, baka mag-fill the gap po yan sa X date ng GMA. Pwede actually. Pala o nga, no, naalala ko, nagkaroon nga pala ng malaking gap. Yeah. Baka. Kasi parang parehas lang siya nangyari kay SEC, no? Ah, hindi. Ito naman kasi isang buong malaking candle, eh. Kasi with ano parang kalahate, I mean, intraday na i-post yung dividend announcement. While yung kay GMA7 naman ay the night before or tapos na yung trading nung araw na yon So, kumbaga, the next day, kaya gap up. Ayan. Diba? So, ayan. Okay. So, having said that, sige, uh, let's move on. So, for now, please post your stock request below. Okay? Tapos, yun yung pag-uusapan natin. Like, right now. Wow, right now. So, uh, while waiting, no? Uh, sige, post yun lang, ha? Uh, just a piece of reminder, once again, this is not a recommendation. Uh, strictly for research purposes lamang po tayo. Okay, kayo pa rin yung pipindot ng buy or sell button, so please, think before you click. Okay, and if you find uh, this type of session helpful, please, if you are on um, on the YouTube, on, on YouTube uh, if you can consider subscribing to our channel, I would, I would really appreciate that. No, uh, And uh, later on din kasi, I'll post yung mga timestamp natin doon sa, uh, doon sa YouTube channel. Okay, para at least mas madali ninyo siyang ma-review moving forward. Okay? So, ayan. Okay. Now, let me just try to check. Prep ko lang yung area natin para at least makapag-start tayo ng maayos. Okay. Inom lang muna ako sa bilita. Okay, so I'm back and uh, let's start. Okay, sabi ni Vernon, uh, stock request land at saka geo. No? Sige, uh, looking at land. Ayan. Okay, so okay. Kay land uh, up siya kanina ng 8, 840. No? Uh, it came from a pullback na nangyari kahapon. So, this is a good looking candle kasi at least kahit pa ano, nagkaroon na ng take profit dito sa part na to. Okay? And kanina, up siya ng 840. So, kung meron akong hawak na land, I'll hold. Okay? I'll set the cut loss at 250. Yun pa rin. No? Hindi pa rin, hindi pa rin mawawala yun. Kahapon nung nag-down siya, pero 850 pa rin, uh, 250 pa rin siya, di ba? So, pasok siya, no? Pasok siya doon sa, sa sa threshold. Okay? Ngayon, kung wala naman akong hawak na land, <laughs> okay, kung wala akong hawak na land, uh, I would, I would not go with land. So, hanap na lang ako ng ibang mas, mas convincing, no? I mean, mas may laman na, na stock. No? Kasi with land, more on speculation na lang ito eh. In my opinion ha. Kasi wala akong makitang specific na, na reason why. Why gumagalaw itong stock na to. 
Okay, uh, we have, uh, I've shown you yung Accurity article kanina. Uh, I would uh, highly advise na review that uh, and uh, see for yourself. No? But uh, for me personally, uh, medyo mababaw yung reasoning ng ano, eh, nung interest. Okay, so again, that's just my my take. Yan. Next, Geo. Okay. So, kay Geo, ang range ko is 30 to 40 hanggang 50 hanggang 50 cents no and kanina nakita natin na lumipad na siya 39.50 nag close di ba um, and also uh, just a personal disclosure no uh, for Geo may ha- nakabili kasi ako sa kanya last week tapos kanina no nakita ako na, na umangat na siya binenta ko na rin so i was i was able to sell it at 18% uh, profit no so one week 18% not bad. Ba? Ayan. Okay. Now, kung halimbawa meron pa akong Geo sa ngayon, no? Uh, I would hold. Hold pa rin ako sa kanya. No? And then, I'll still set my cut loss at 0.35. Okay. Ngayon, kung wala akong hawak na Geo, antayin ko na lang siya. No? Hintayin ko siya na bumalik ulit sa, sa support at 0.3240. Okay, either bumaba siya rito or kung halimbawa kaya niyang i-break itong 50 cent, then I'll wait that. Tapos, I'll wait doon sa pullback. Okay. Next, MBT. Ayan. For MBT, ayun, uh, lumalagi na siya dito sa 32.8 ng FIBO or about 44.70. No? So, that's good to see uh, for MBT. Yun nga lang, syempre, ingat pa rin. If meron akong hawak na MBT 4470, uh, yun yung magiging cut loss price ko, no? But then again, I'll monitor in the next coming day. So maybe hanggang tomorrow or on Monday, no? Kasi what I am after here is etong support. Kasi baka mabasag. Okay? So pag nabasag again, cut, benta, tapos, no? Ngayon, kung halimbawa umangat naman then much better. Then that means hold lang. But still Cut loss level is nasa 44.70. Ngayon, kung wala naman akong hawak na MBT at this level, I'll wait for uh, 1 to 2 more days. 1 to 2 more candles, to be specific. Tapos, dapat yung 44.70 mag-hold yan sa taas. If it does, then pwede na ako bumili doon sa part na yun. Okay? So, ayan. Next, MPI. Ito. Ganda nung volume ni MPI kanina, di ba? Ha, almost, ano, almost, uh, almost resistance. Meron bang, ano tong si MPI? O napag-tripan lang to? Wala, wala siyang, ano, no? Hmm, hmm. Wala eh. As in, mukhang napagtripan lang tong si MPI kanina. Laki oh. 257 million. Buong araw ba siyang ganyan? Or last last minute? Oh. Yung... Ay. Maganda no? Uh, halos buong araw siya. Pero at least itong part na to no? Between 10 a.m. hanggang... Hanggang 11, doon siya talaga lumipad ng gusto. Si MPI. Hindi ko alam kung bakit, no? To be honest. Ano ba ba yung ano ko? Hmm. MPI. Sino ang buyers neto? Oh, ay, okay. Wait lang, ha? Okay, I think this is cross sale, block or cross sale ito for DBP DW for DBP Diwa. Magkano ang average value niya? 3.97. Okay. Ayun, cross sale ito, no? 150, 150 million. So, ayun, mukhang may nag-cross sale lang pala talaga sa kanya kanina. Kaya siya lumipad. No? 
But again, nevertheless, ang range ko ay still nasa main range ko sa kanya is to 228 hanggang 4 hanggang 417 or 415. And kanina na almost lumapit na siya doon sa aking resistance no at uh, at 415. Okay? So, for MPI, kung meron akong hawak nito, I'll monitor. Okay? O monitor ko na siya starting tomorrow baka mauntog. Okay? The ideal scenario is ma-break niya itong 415. No? Pero again, uh, we have to monitor if that will happen. Kasi gano'n naman talaga eh, pag nasa resistance yung isang stock, dalawa lang pwede mangyari dyan. Either mauntog, umatras yung presyo, or mag-break out and magtuloy-tuloy. Na? So, sabi ko nga, we don't try to speculate dahil hindi natin alam kung ano mangyayari bukas. But it pays to know kung ano yung gagawin mo kapag nangyari yung isang event. Na? Pag nauntog, syempre, take profit. Kapag nag-break out, hold. Na? So, ayan, ganun lang. Next, BSC. Ayan. For BSC, yun, nakabalik na siya ng ano, above piso, finally, no? Ilang araw din yung, ilang linggo rin siyang nag-permi dun sa ilalim. Okay. So, for BSC, kung meron akong hawak, I'll hold. No? Pero still, please monitor, dahil isang kandila pa lang yan. No? Uh, most, uh, yung pinakamagandang scenario here is 2 to 3 more candles na magstay above 1 peso. Okay? So, yun yung ideal scenario. Okay? Now, kung wala naman akong hawak na BSC, then, ag- ayun, uh, I'll wait for 1 to 2 more days or 1 to 2 more candles and see kung ano ang mangyayari dito sa support na piso. Mag-hold ba siya or mababasag? Okay? Pag nag-hold, then, uh, pwede na ako magsalang dyan ng buy, buy ko between 1 peso hanggang 110. Actually, even 120 pa nga, kaya ko pa eh. Diba? Tapos, target is 190. For Jason M. Wide, yan. For M. Wide, ito, ang ganda nung, ang ganda nung chart niya, no? Kasi, kung mapansin natin, sumakto siya doon sa 6 pesos. Tapos, nag-rebound. And ngayon, nasa around 7 pesos na. Yun lang, ang medyo concerning lang na part sa akin dito is that etong MA50 line, sumakto na siya doon sa closing niya kanina. And yung MA200 line nasa taas. No? Which tells me that this stock is still on a downtrend, approaching potential uptrend or sideways actually. Okay. So, ayan, kung meron akong hawak na MY right now, I'll hold. I'll set my cut loss sa 650. Kung wala akong hawak na MY, antayin ko na lang siya, no? Hintayin ko na bumalik siya doon sa 6 peso level or get some added conviction once na makatawid na siya ng 8. Okay? Next, MM. So, para kay MY lang din, no? Uh, for MM, halos ganun kasi 580 yung, yung resistance ko sa kanya. And the mere fact na medyo malapit na siya doon sa part na yun, then kailangan nang i-monitor to closely. So, kung meron akong hawak na MM, I'll wait tomorrow maybe or on Monday or next week. And I'll observe and monitor kung anong gagawin ng stock dito sa 580 na level. Breakout pa niya yan or mauuntog. Okay. Actually, maraming ganitong klase ng chart ngayong araw na to. So, we have seen MM, uh, I have also seen si CLI, even si DD. Ganyan din yung itsura niya. No? Ay, sorry. DD tuloy. Dito pala. Ayan. Okay. Next, uh, Prim. Okay. So, si Prim naman, no, this is just a cut loss area. So, wala ito. Ayan. For prim, uh, medyo ano no, medyo maganda yung volume ni prim nowadays dahil umaabot siya ng more than, more than, ano ba, uh, 7 digits no, in terms of uh, traded value. And kanina, nag 290 na siya. Yan. So, ang pinaka-range ko sa kanya is between 2 pesos hanggang 4, 420. 
Okay? Ngayon, pag ganito, I'll hold. I'll hold. Kung meron akong hawak kay Prim, ha? I'll hold. I'll set my cut loss sa 250. Kung wala naman, I'll wait. Hintayin ko yan na medyo bumawa pa ng konti. 1 peso hanggang... Ay, sorry. 2 pesos hanggang 250 level. Yung bounce doon. Tapos, 419 or 420 naman yung magiging target price ko. Ngayon, kung wala akong hawak na prim, kung wala akong hawak na... Okay. So, kung wala akong hawak na prim, uh, I would stay away na lang muna for prim. No? Kasi, again, wala akong alam na na malakas na catalyst para umangat ng ganito kataas yung pressure ni Prim. Okay, pag ganon, I, tra I try to stay away, no? Ayan. P-Gold. Nakatawid na ba si P-Gold? Hindi pa. Ayan. So, kahapon kasi nabasag na itong ano, itong 3860, no? And kanina, nag-close siya almost flat. Okay? So, pag ganito yung yung kaso uh, with the uh, with big gold na currently na nasa downtrend na itong si big gold kasi so far no. Okay. So, kung meron akong hawak na na big gold concerning talaga sa akin tong part na to eh. No. Pero sige, uh, I'll take a kung halimbawa meron akong hawak no. I'll try to to gamble on this one and uh, hold lang muna. Pero ang final basag sa akin dito will be 37.75. Pag itong part na yan nahulog pa or nag-close pa siya tomorrow, then definitely sell na ako dito. Definite sell na ako pag ganun. Okay? Ngayon kung meron akong kung wala naman ako na pigold, I'll wait. Hintayin ko na lang siya, no? Sana ako maghihintay. Parang, for me, I would go with 44.50. Okay. Next, uh, PLC tsaka A6. PLC. Okay. So, for PLC, ang range ko is between 37.17 hanggang 4400. And, ayun na nga, ano, uh, bounce. So, we have seen yung reverse niya dito sa 37. I think this is 37. 70 yeah 3770 na level so maganda na yan and the uh, target is 4400 kung meron akong PLC I'll hold I'll set my cut loss at 38 kung wala naman akong hawak na PLC I'll wait no uh, hindi ko siya sa 3717 hanggang 38 tapos target ko will be 44 okay XNR For Ace XNR naman, wala, gumigit na kasi siya. So, ang range ko is between 18 pesos hanggang 26.95. No? And ngayon nga, yung, stock, yung price niya kasi nasa 21.90. So, gitna siya nung range. Pag uh, ganito, wala, uh, stay put, no action. Kasi maganda pa rin naman yung galawan niya. Uh, mainly, it's an uptrend pa rin naman siya. Pwedeng mag-support itong MA50 line. No. So, ayun, kung meron ako hawak, hold lang ako. I'll still set my cut loss sa 20 pesos daw. Kung wala naman akong hawak na na NXOR, then I'll wait, no. Antayin ko siyang mahulog sa around 18 pesos. So, 18 to 19 bounce doon tapos target ko will be 2694. Okay, next for Freeland. Pa ayun, so ito rin si Pa uh, puro, maganda nakikita natin so far, no, halos karamihan puro bounce, bounce from or reversals no, uh, bounce from support, tapos uh, several candles up usually pagaganto yung, pag yung mga stocks uh, this can be a a clue na nagkakaroon na ng, ano, ng volume yung market natin, tapos sana magtuloy-tuloy no. Umakyat na bumalik na sa ano sa pag-angat or sa uptrend yung market natin. Pero at least the good thing is karamihan ng mga nakita nating mga stocks so far ay bounce from support talaga sila, di ba? 
uh, same thing with the uh, with pa no ngayon kung meron akong hawak na pa I'll hold I'll set my cut loss still at 2 pesos no kung wala naman akong hawak na pa then I'll wait no I think kaya pa ba at 227 ah pwede pa Actually, pwede pa nga uh, between 2 pesos hanggang 2.30. No? Buying area. Tapos, target is 3... Ano to? 3.20. Nice, nice. Maganda yung kay pa. Next, CLI. Ito. Si CLI naman, ito may pagkauntog na to. No? Or pwedeng untog, pwedeng breakout. Depende kung ano mangyayari tomorrow. So, range ko is 5.50 hanggang 6.21. And kanina, kung makikita natin dito, diba? Nagkaroon na siya na ano, magandang candle. Yun nga lang, yung wick niya, umabot doon sa resistance, tapos umurong. Okay? So, ingat dito, if merong akong CLI, I'll definitely monitor tomorrow kung ano yung magiging, magiging candle niya. No? Pag ito bumaba, then I might consider taking profit. Okay? Kasi pag bumaba yun, then that means, baka itong wick na to, ito na yung untog na hinahanap. Okay. Ngayon, kung wala naman akong hawak na CLI, then I'll wait. Okay? I'll wait either bumaba yung presyo sa 5.50 or mag-breakout siya dito. Tapos, papasok ako on the pullback. No? Hintayin ko yung pullback candle na red candle. Tapos, doon ako pasok. After that uh, 6.21, meron mo bang next? Wala pa, no? Is this a... Oh... Okay, so for CLI pala, no, uh, we are moving to a potential all-time high or 52-week high. This will be more more than exciting, actually, for CLI. No? So congrats sa mga may hawak ng CLI. I hope na green yung portfolio nyo so far. But then again, ang ano ko lang dito is that etong part na to. No? Dahil may pagkauntog na siya doon sa part na yun. So, prepare to take profit kapag uh, hindi naging maganda yung turnout by tomorrow or on Monday. Pero partial lang ha. Para at least kung sakali mang hindi mas... Uh, kung halimbawa mang mali yun, then at least you still have skin on the game when it comes to breakout. Next, DMC. Okay, DMC naman, ito. So, kanina nag-close siya at 575. Ang range ko is 5.20 hanggang 6.15. Okay? So, same thing. Ha? Same thing. Kalagitnaan siya ng range ko, kaya medyo wala, uh, wala pa akong pwedeng gawin dyan. Okay? So, kung meron akong hawak, I'll hold. I'll set my cut loss at 5.50. Kung wala naman akong hawak na DMC, then I'll wait. No? Uh, hintayin ko na buong edyo bumaba yung presyo niya. Between 5.20 hanggang 5.30. So, bounce doon. Doon ako bibili sa bounce. And then, target ko will be 6.15. Okay. But then again, si DMC ay, tama ba, meron siyang magandang dividend? Yeah. Okay. Next. DDMPR. Ano nangyari kay DDMPR? Nagkaroon na yung take profit kanina, di ba? Ayun. So, ito ano. Nagkaroon ng take profit na area dito nag-close siya at 2.26 not bad at all kasi minus 0.88 lang siya no so yung mga nakabili at the at the IPO price na 225 okay pa no almost flat if yeah think of flat pa ang mga bumibili although yeah meron daw akong DDMPR wala pa akong ginagawa hindi pa ako nagbebenta hindi pa ako nagdadagdag kasi wala pa akong buying power. <laughs> Pero yeah, definitely kung may buying power ako, I I should have already uh, I should have already bought uh DDMPR, no. Pero wala pa. Eh. Okay? But then again, um I won't be covering too much of DDMPR dahil hindi siya pang trading. Okay? Uh DDMPR or REITs in general, si DDMPR at saka si REIT, they are there for long term dahil dividend payer sila. Okay, so please, uh, if you are, if you're looking at uh, trading DDMPR, don't. Kung ganun yung plano ninyo, my suggestion is benta nyo na lang yung DDMPR and then look for other much volatile stocks. 
Okay? Kasi hindi siya para doon. Next. Um, MBT, DMT, tapos sa parehas yan. Uh, John Churchill. Yeah, yung sinilip natin ito kanina pero wala akong nakita eh. Wala akong nakita ang um, catalyst for MPI apart from yung naging uh, ito, cross-sale na naganap kanina kay eh, nakalamuta ko yung broker. Uh, malaki kasi yung 150 million eh. Kaya, kaya ganun. Okay. Next, uh, for Ida APC. Okay. Kay APC kasi, uh, the mere fact na nasa baba siya ng, ng 0.4 na, na resistance ko, maliit lang din kasi eh. Low, this is a low value stock no, sa APC. So, hindi ko siya talaga gamay. Sorry, Ida. No? Uh, maybe we can talk about other stocks but not this one. And uh, kung mapansin na natin, chart position or chart pattern, there is a clear na ano dito na head and shoulders. Ayan. So, a head and shoulders pat, ang pangit ng ano, no? <laughs> Naging dahon. Pero yeah, basically, head and shoulders pattern is a bearish. A reversal. Sorry, hindi siya bearish. But, it's a reversal pattern. Okay? Ibig sabihin nun, i-reverse niya yung previous trend. Ano yung previous trend? Eto. Going up. So, that means, there is a good potential na nagbabadya na to dito na it potentially can go down. Okay. Next, uh, for Rolando, FLI. Ayan. For FLI naman, ayun. Ay. Sige. So, for FLI, gitna eh. 114. Ang range ko is 105 hanggang 118. Pero ang late na yan ito, no? Yan, maliit lang to. So, kapag maliit yung isang, yung range ko, uh, I will consider the next one which is 140 na mas malaki ng ng dihamak di ba so ayun uh, range ko what I'll consider is itong range ng uh, 110 hanggang 140 okay now kung meron akong hawak na FLI I'll hold I'll set my cut loss at 110 kung wala naman tingnan natin kung ganun pa siya kalaki about 22% so yung 1 So, magiging buying range ko will be 1, 1 peso hanggang 115. Tapos, target ko will be 140. Okay. Next, ASEN. For ASEN, ayun, ito yung napag-usapan natin kanina, no? Na lumalapit na siya. No, after it bounce, no? After niya mag-bounce sa uh, 7 pesos, maganda na yung ginagawa niyang track, which is about go, going to 8 pesos. Okay. Ito lang no kung meron kayong hawak na ASEN, please try to monitor dahil lumalapit na siya doon sa resistance, no? Although yung range ko talaga sa kanya is 520 hanggang 942, we still have to respect itong 8 pesos dahil kung mapapansin natin, there are a lot of instances already na nare-reject siya dito sa part na to. Nagkakaroon ng reversal doon sa sa 8. Okay? So prepare to take profit. Okay, or partial, kahit partial lang, no? Kasi ako, that's what, uh, that is what I am planning to do. Uh, so, simula bukas, imamonitor ko na to. Kapag ito, lumapit-lapit pa ng, ng, ng 8, then I'll consider taking profit kahit na, uh, my, my plan is 30%. 30% of my position, I'll partially sell. No? Para at least kung halimbawa mong tama yung iniisip ko na ma-reject na siya after 8 pesos, then, nakapag take profit na ako dun sa sa taas. Pero kung magtuloy-tuloy pa rin, then no, totally fine. Kasi, kung 30% lang yung iti-take profit ko, then that means I still have about 70%. Diba? So, win-win. Diba? Okay. Yan. Next is MM. Okay. So, for MM naman, ito, ganun din. Actually, si MM yung isa sa mga chart na sobrang, sobrang nagagandahan ako. Why? Kasi, linisin ko lang siya ha. Ayan. Kung mapansin natin dito, ano, uh, sobrang obvious nung mga support and resistance niya. Alin yun? This 815 na level, etong 580 na level, at saka itong 450 na level. 
ba? Sobrang linis niya doon, no? After the breakout here, consolidation sa 580 hanggang sa mabasag and dumipad ulit. Tapos, nag-reverse doon sa 815. Ilang beses niyang inattempt yung yung 815 pero lagi siya nare-reject. Until, itong candle na to binasag niya ulit yung 580. Tapos, gumawa siya ng bagong consolidation dito sa 450. Diba? Ang gandang tingnan. Okay? So, kung meron akong hawak na MM, I will be monitoring this one. Dahil again, katulad ni Asian kanina, malapit na siya doon sa resistance. Okay? And kapag ganyan, ingat-ingat na dahil may potential siyang mauntog. Okay? So again, partial take profit yung pwede kong gawin dito. Now, kung wala naman akong hawak na MM, then of course, dalawa lang yung pwede kong gawin. Either I wait na bumagsak dito sa baba, or hintayin ko na mag-break out tapos doon ako sa pullback pwedeng pumasok. Target ko will be 8.15. Okay? Yan. For Irene, dito, ah, tapos si MMA siya, dito na lang. Yan. Okay. Ito yung nilagay ko kanina, no? Kasi, by the way, ang range ko is between 7 pesos hanggang 14.85. Okay, so right now, the stock is, nandito na siya sa almost resistance na, no, ng, ng part na to. So, kaya I also posted din kaninang umaga, uh, trying to see, no, kung what do you think about dito, kung mauuntog ba siya or may break out, no. Now, judging on this candle here, Ibig sabihin kasi na ito, teka ha, tanggap mo nga ito, ayan. Nag-open siya higher ng around 11.34. Pero, the sellers were able to outnumber and outmaneuver the buyers. That's the reason why mo ba yung presyo, nag-close siya at around 11.04. Okay? Now, again, judging on this particular candle, potentially, baka untog itong part na to. Okay. Now, kapag ganun, as I have mentioned, ganun pa din. Kapag mayroong potential for untog, then it might be a good idea to at least take profit. Kung halimbawa na sa profit side na kayo. Diba? Take profit kahit partial lang again. Okay. Pero again, kung halimbawa you are long term naman sa so any of those, no, then wala. No taking profit, just riding it all along. <laughs> ganun lang siya. Ayan. So, again, kung meron akong hawak na dito, I'll consider taking profit by tomorrow. Kung halimbawa, hindi pa rin siya makalabas uh, outside of 11.40. Okay? Ngayon, kung wala akong hawak na dito, then, abang ko yung 11.40. Pag nag-break yan dito, pag nag-break out, I wait for the pullback, doon ako papasok. Tapos, target ko is 14.85. Okay? Next, uh, nickel at saka SMPH. For nickel, ganun din, no? Nakaka- nakita na tayo ng bounce. Doon, sumasakto talaga siya doon sa 490 na level. ba? Diba? Tapos, ngayon, nakakita tayo ng uh, pag-angat nung presyo. So, with nickel, kung meron akong hawak, I'll hold. I'll set my cut loss at 5 pesos. Pero kung wala naman, 490. Intayin ko siya mag-bounce ulit doon. SMPH. Uy, ang ganda naman ng candle ni SMPH kanina. Ayan. So, same thing din tong kay SMPH, no? Kasi kung mapapansin natin, although medyo erratic lang yung movement niya, nag-reverse siya malapit dun sa 34 pesos. And, eto pa. If you can observe, itong si MA50 line. Mukhang ginagawa siyang, ano, nagkakaroon ng resistance dito sa part na to. Kasi kung mapapansin nyo rito, eto, oh. May reversal na nangyari dito. May nangyari din dito. Okay? So, kanina, na-break na niya itong MA50 line again. So, watch out tomorrow kung mare-reject, kung babalik siya sa loob. If hindi, then that's a better scenario, no? Kasi that means, itong MA50, pag na-confirm yung breakout niyan, then that's a confirmed support. Okay? So, ayan. Now, kung halimbawa meron akong SMPH, again, I'll hold. 
I'll set my cut loss at 35 pesos. Kung wala akong hawak na SMPH, I'll wait. Hintayin ko siya, 34 pesos na, na bounce, maybe from 34 hanggang 36. Target ko, 42. Ayan. Uh, next, sabi ni Jonathan, I am... Tapos na si IMI, di ba? IMI. Hindi pa. Okay, so, eto. For IMI, ang range ko is between 990 hanggang 1395. And uh, after that successful bounce, dito sa 990 level, nakita natin yung pag-bounce niya rito, no, pag-angat. And yung kanina, uh, this is the pullback candle na. No, which is a good candle. Okay. However, medyo alarming lang o hindi ma alarming pero concerning lang itong part ng MA2, MA50. Kasi nga kung mapansin natin dito, 'di ba? Siya yung nagiging support ng stock. 'Di ba? Uh, from here, kita natin no, kung paano niya sinusuportahan yung stock. Ngayon, ang problema kasi once na yung support na yun nabasag, then that means yung pag nabasag yung support, then resistance na siya. And that is what's happening here. So nabasag dito And now, this is the first retest or the first test of MA50 as a resistance. Okay, so doble ingat sa ganito. If meron akong hawak na IMI, uh, I'll hold muna. No? Pero again, I'll watch out. Uh, kapag ito nag-close ng, ng lower tomorrow, below 11 pesos, then I'll consider taking profit kahit partial. Okay. Now, kung halimbawa wala akong IMI, then I'll wait. No? Hintayin ko siya bumaba, 9.90 ulit or 10 pesos, bounce, and then see how it goes. No? Kung kaya niya ulit na makapag-break out dito sa 30.95. Ayan. Okay. Uh, next, APL. So, for APL naman, finally, no, naka, nakalusot na siya dito sa 1990 na support level. So, ngayon, it's trading at 2190 with a relatively good value na nasa around almost 100 million. Okay, so medyo volatile itong si, uh, si APL right now. And the mere fact na naka-sideways movement siya with a, an up, uptrend bias, then mas maganda yung kanyang dating. However, again, et, nandito pa rin yung MA50 line that can potentially serve as a resistance for APL. Okay? Kung meron akong hawak na APL, I'll hold. No? Pero again, I'll watch out for this one. And uh, would take profit kapag halimbawang hindi niya kayang basagin tong MA50. Okay? Now, kung wala naman akong hawak na APL, then I'll wait, no? Hintayin ko siya medyo mababa pa ng konti. Nasa around uh, 0.2 na level. 0.2 hanggang 2150 na level. Yung bounce doon, then resistance. Okay. Next. Uh, wait lang, ha? Uh, kasi yung binabasa ko right now is nasa 8.54pm pa which is almost 30 minutes ago so mag-scroll down lang ako hanap ako kung may mga questions prioritize ko yan kapag wala then I go to the pinaka most recent and then yun naman paakyat naman okay so teka ha sabi ni Roji dito ito question uh, ano na po ang kaya ang mangyayari kay AR wala pa So, I have been following up with PSE. Nagkatanong ako, nag email ako sa kanila kung ano na ba yung plano or kung ano yung mangyayari. Kaso, hindi pa sila nag-respond. Okay? Once I, once I get a, um, an answer from them, then I'll make sure to update you guys. Okay? But for now, wala. Uh, kung meron kang hawak na AR, wala. No choice but just to wait. No? Wait for further updates. Okay? Next. Uh, si Auto Loan Philippines. Ba't may Auto Loan Philippines ako dito? <laughs> ah, okay. So, question na dito is need help about to, uh, about to open an account. Curious lang po. Sa first Metro Sec Pro po ba automatic kayo naging pro when you trade 100,000 and above? Yes. Ah, teka ha. I think so. Kasi matagal na ako na gano'n eh. Matagal na ako naka first Metro po. Hindi ko na masyado maalala. No? Um, 
ganito na lang much better kung halimbawa once na nag uh, ano na kayo once na naka 100,000 worth na uh, I highly suggest contact First Metro so that they can verify okay once they can verify that then they can enable it for you no hindi ko lang alam if it's automatic or hindi ah kasi yun sa akin sobrang tagal na eh um, 2019 pa yata ako naka naka pro version and Ano nga ba nangyari sa akin? Nag-email ba ako nun? Ay, hindi. Kasi kami, kasama kami doon sa ano, naka... Uh, isa sa instructor kasi namin si uh, si Aaron. Aaron Say ng, uh, ng First Metro. So, kinuha niyang lahat yung mga email addresses namin tapos finorward sa First Metro. So, nagkaroon kami ng parang trial period na about two months on the First Metro sec. Pro na version. Eh, since yung sa akin ay lampas naman ng 100k, then hindi na siya nawala sa akin. No? So, yun yung, yun yung sa akin. Ah. Uh, I'm not sure how it will be. No? Pero yun lang ang masasuggest ko. If you if you think na nasa 100k ka na, na, na traded, traded value ha? Traded value. Or uh, 100,000 traded value or 200,000 worth of uh, stock portfolio, then I suggest Uh, contact First Metro Sec, inform them na you have met the criteria and then they can verify and validate. Okay? So, ayan. Um, ano pa ba? May mga question pa ba dito? Sabi ni Loy, ito yung sa First Metro Pro trade accumulate Uh, trade a cumulative amount of at least 100,000 within the month or maintain a mutual fund stock portfolio of 200,000. Yes, that's correct. Yan yung criteria no? para meron kang pro version. Yan. Uh, ayun, sabi rin ni, uh, ni Luisa, so same thing. Also, sabi rin ni, ni Jay. Yun nga lang, for to trade, a, to trade prime same lang interface ng FMS Pro. Yeah. Actually, marami silang kapareha, magkakaparehas niyan. To trade si um, FMS uh, APSEC, AP Security, same din. Ano pa ba? Sino ba? Uh, AB, Alpha, Bravo, AB Securities, yun din. Okay? Uh, yung, pare-parehas kasi yung back-end nila, which is, is it Technistock? Technistock yata. No, yung pag uh, gano'n yung back-end mo din, halos pare-parehas kayo ng itsura. Okay. I could be wrong ha, pero technique stock lang kasi yung naalala ko. No? Uh, for those parts. Ayan. Okay. Uh, sabi ni uh, John Francis, uh, any insight for Asians FOO given na 8 na yung yung range resistance nyo po, don't you think it would be, it would go beyond? Okay. Well, again, uh, John, uh, try kong i-ano, i-clarify, okay? Uh, Asians FOO, this is more on fundamentals. No? Kasi this is what's happening on the, uh, on the fundamental, uh, core fundamental books ng, ng company. Okay. Now, yung sinabi kong 8 kanina, that is on the technical side naman. Okay? Uh, as we know, there are two ways on how we can baga, trade the market. We can follow a fundamental approach or we can go with a technical approach. No? Uh, rare na magkakasalubong or magmamatch yung dalawa na yon. So, very rare, no? Uh, that's why sinasabi natin na there are some people na fundamentalists, there are those technicals. Okay, so magkaibang bagay sila. Okay, so ayun, that's why masasabi ko, uh, for this one, medyo mahirap eh, kasi we are comparing two different approaches. So, ayun, uh, I'm not sure if you get something out of that, but Ayun, uh, try to think about it. Hindi sila yung asin magkasama in one in one sentence, no? Ang ang fundamental at saka ang technical kasi talagang magkaiba yan. Okay. 
Uh, sabi ni Jen, uh, CLI dividend play po kaya tumakas? Pwede, pwede, no? Pero ako kasi, uh, I still look at the at CLI on its fundamentals. Diba? As I've mentioned noong nakaraan, CLI is one of those stock on the property sector na very attractive for me, no? Fundamental wise. And right now, technical, medyo maganda na rin siya. Especially kapag na-break niya yung resistance, no? Which could make the the stock hit the new all-time high eventually. Potentially, di ba? So, ayan. Okay? Ayan. So, I, I think yun lang yung mga question so far, no? Now, let me go back to the ano to the stock request and see kung nasa na tayo. Oh, nine ko muna to kay Dennis Aba. Okay, for Aba ganun din, no. Reversal yung nangyayari. From point 19 nag-reverse na siya, na-break na yung 1 peso level and right now it's trading at 1.26. Okay? So, kung meron akong Aba, I'll hold. Okay? I'll hold tapos uh I'll set my cut loss at uh, 120. And then, target ko 160. Kung wala naman akong hawak na aba, I'll wait. Hintayin ko siya na medyo bumaba ng konti. No? So, between 1, 109 hanggang 120 level, yun yung magiging, ano ko, uh, yun yung aabangan ko na, na bounce. Tapos, target ko again is 160. Okay. Next, for Luisa, FNI. Hindi ko ka natatapos si FNI kanina. Hindi pa yata. Okay. So, for FNI naman, eto, no? Same, same thing. Uh, so far, nakakita na ah, 361. Akala ko drawing ko na naman siya. <laughs> Ayan. So, for, for FNI, no? Maganda yung naging movement niya kasi respe- well-respected itong 220 na support level. Imagine ilang beses to. So we have 1 2 3 4, no? Apat na beses niyang nag nagretest doon sa 220 level and every time doon siya umaangat or doon siya nagre-reverse. Okay? So um, if you are following FNI, ito na yung magandang ano, ito na yung magandang kubaga eh uh, what you can monitor, no? Between 220 hanggang 320. Di ba? So ganun. Now, on the technical side, again, uh, on my end here, I can see na nag-close na siya at 258 kanina. ba? Diba? So, pag ganito, uh, if meron akong hawak na FNI, I'll hold. I'll set my cut loss at 240. Tapos, kung wala naman akong hawak, I'll wait. Again, sana akong maghihintay dun sa 220. No? Between 220 hanggang 240, hopefully, makabalik siya dito. Pag nag-bounce, dun ako bibili target ko is 320. Okay? Uh, merong isang konting scare dito dahil nagkaroon ng double tap pattern. However, on that double tap pattern, mukhang nakalusot na siya. Why? Kasi yung base niya is ganun pa rin, 220. Saan ko nakita yung base? etong part na, etong part na to. So, that double tap pattern, ang naging equivalent niya is ganito. Hindi ganun kalakihan, no? Yun nga lang, syempre, uh, we still have to take into consideration na etong 220 na to kapag nabasag, delikado. Kasi, again, following that uh, double top na, na pattern, the stock can fall down up until 120. No? Sa ako nakuha yung 120 dito. Okay. So, ayan. That's for, for FNI. Hmm. Ah, okay. Sabi ni Jeff Pasqua dito, Sir, usually, anong percent cut loss level mo? Sa akin, 15%. No? 15%. O, why? Fi- Ay, cut loss. Sorry, cut loss. Uh, 5% lang pala. Okay? So, there are two ways on how I decide my cut loss level. Okay? The first one is, of course, 5%. The other one is the support. No? So, pag nasa support na ako, then doon ako maglalagay ng cut loss level ko. Pero kapag uh, malayo sa support, like for example, this one, medyo malayo na sa support, then I would consider the next whole number. And may 5% pa to wala. 
O oh, yan, halos, di ba? 672. So, yan, mga ganong klase, mga ganong klase. Kasi if you fa- if you set your cut loss at 220, ang laki noon from its current price. That's 13%. So, sayang naman. That uh, so pag ganoon, I'll just follow my 5% rule. No, it's not a rule for everyone, ha? it's just my personal rule. Pero if you wanted to adopt that, then that's totally fine. So, uh, minus 5%. So, my uh, my cut loss level is minus 5%. Bakit minus 5%? Kasi, ang magiging minimum ko to target price is 15% naman. Okay. And following that, uh, I have that uh, 3 to 1 win rate ratio. Actually, no. This is 25% win rate. Diba? Yan. Next is uh, GMA7. Okay. GMA7. Okay. Hindi pa yung spelling ko. Yan. Okay. So for GMA7, oh, dito siya naglalaro sa 878 or 880 level. Kaya, hmm, alanganin ito. And the mere fact na medyo malapit na siya doon sa dividend announcement, ah, sa dividend X date. There is a good chance no, na mag-fill in the gap ito. Okay? So unless you are a long-term investor for GMA, then okay lang bumili. Pero if you if you are not a long-term investor for GMA, then parang olats na. Uh, medyo mataas ng... Medyo mataas na siya. No? Pero again, uh, if we are looking at around the, the dividend, I think pasok pa siya, di ba? Magkano ang dividend at, at its current level? 135. So, 1.35, tapos magkano siya? 8.78, no? 8.78, then, oh! Essentially, meron pang 15%, no? 15% na dividend yield. So, not bad. Yun nga lang, again, the expectation is that, katulad na nangyari kay, kay SEC kanina, baka on the X date, April 19, baka bumaba yung presyo. Okay? Now, if bumaba naman yung presyo and if you are a long-term investor naman for GMA7, then you shouldn't worry too much about it. Okay? Next. Um, saan na pa ba? Ah, okay. Sabi ni Arya dito, wala pa ba tayong session on Friday? Uh... Okay. So yeah, on Friday wala po. No kasi it's um, it's a holiday. Pero tomorrow meron tayong end of day session, no? And end of day na market recap. So ito yung live recap natin. Live recap natin ng around 12:30 PM. So paano na lang uh, watch out for that. Now, um ito, uh, quick ano lang, quick plug ko na lang din. Okay, so quick plug ko na lang din. Ito pala. Hindi ko mahanap. Ayan. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please do so. Uh, ito po yung aking YouTube channel. Uh, we have about 4,000 subscribers. Uh, I'm targeting 5,000 by the end of the month. And, um, I hope and pray na maabot natin siya. So, ayan. Uh, kung hindi pa ka nakasubscribe, please do so. Uh, hit that notification bell na rin para every time na meron tayong update or every time na meron tayong mga live sessions, eh, maka-join kayo and uh, ma-notify kayo na uh, we are doing live. And we are doing live actually. Almost every every day, we are doing the end of day na live live stream, 12.30pm hanggang alauna. No? Doon, pinag-uusapan natin yung mga nangyari sa market live. 
Okay? And also, we try to review yung mga disclosures. Yan. Okay? So, ayan. Hopefully, maka-join in kayo sa atin. Uh, ano pa ba? For Luisa VUL. Okay? For VUL naman, ayan. Ano ba na-mention na si VUL? Anyways, sige. So, ang range ko is between 135 hanggang 290. Medyo mataas yun, ha? 135 to 290. But then, right now, uh, I think, mas nagkakaroon ng ng reversal or ng support dito sa 2 pesos. Okay? So, kung meron akong hawak na VUL, which I still have, uh, na-mention ko naman yun sa inyo nung Monday, di ba? Na meron pa akong hawak na VUL, uh, naka-hold na ako sa kanya. Okay? Pero, because of what happened sa ka, sa candle niya kanina baka tomorrow I'll monitor no? pag yung candle tomorrow nag-close pa rin ng lower then I might consider partial selling okay uh, I'll, I'll partial sell para at uh, sige papano kasi ano na ako eh uh, I'm already ilang percent maliit lang less than 10% na, na up pero okay na ako dun diba ano ba naman yung let's say 8, 8 to 9% in 3 days. Not bad, di ba? So, ayan. Okay. Ngayon, kung wala akong hawak na VUL, anong gagawin ko? I'll wait. Hintayin ko, bumalik siya sa 2 pesos. Okay. And then, target ko pa rin is 290. Ayan. Okay. Next, uh, sabi ni Grand, uh, Grandi Axel Gaming, no big question po, ano po ulit yung ex-dividend date at record date? Thank you. Okay, so X date and record date, punta tayo dito. An example of is GMA7. Okay, X date, ito yung date na kailangan natin as investors or as traders na i-monitor. Okay, kasi ibig sabihin na ito sa X date, then a, day, a trading day before, dapat nakabili ka na ng GMA7 para maging eligible. Pag bumili ka ng GMA7 on X date, which is April 19, hindi ka na eligible to get the dividend. Okay? Now, para sa yung record date, you don't have to worry about this. Para sa company lang to. Kasi dito nila, ire-record lahat ng lahat ng, ng lahat ng naging eligible doon sa X date. Okay? So again, for us as investors and traders, ang kailangan lang nating pagtuunan ng pansin ay itong X date at ang payment date, syempre. Payment date is kung kailan papasok sa account niyo yung mga dividends. Okay. Record date, sa company lang yan. Okay. So, ayan. Ano pa ba? Sabi ni Marlene, uh, Sir, ano po meaning ng cross-sale at bakit ganun yung naging effect sa market? Okay. Uh, cross-sale is... Um, okay. Cross-sale is usually ha usually happens kapag... Uh, mas maganda kung ano, no? Ayan. Cross-sale stocks. Para, uh, cross-trade. Ayan. So, sabi sa, sabi, <laughs> sabi sa Investopedia, a cross-sale is a practice where buy and sell orders for the same asset are offset without recording the trade on the exchange. It is an activity that is not permitted on most of the major exchanges. Pero sa Philippines, pwede siya. Okay? So, nangyari yun kapag uh, halimbawa, uh, so Marlene tayong dalawa. Parehas tayong may hawak na, kunwari, call, call yung account natin. No? And uh, we wanted to trade ng, let's say, 2 million peso. Ay, hindi. Huwag yung 2 million. Kunwari, 10 million worth. Okay? 10 million worth of SEC, for example. Diba? So, at 10 million worth ng SEC para hindi maapektuhan masyado yung presyo ng SEC sa market kasi pag binuhos mo hindi, wag 2 million kasi maliit pala yun, no? 2 million shares na lang, hindi na peso. Ayan, 2 million shares. Sorry, ha, medyo magulo. So, 2 million shares. So, para hindi masyado maapektuhan yung presyo sa market, um, and parehas lang naman tayo na gusto natin ng, na nag-agree naman tayo on that uh, on that amount Diba? So, parehas naman tayong call user. So, might as well, let's cross na lang. So, it's an off-market na, na trade. No? Pero, i-record yun sa ano pa rin, sa, sa exchange afterwards. 
no? Kung baga ginagamit lang yun para hindi lang maapektuhan yung 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 presyo sa market. And usually may limit yun. Um, hindi ko alam kung magkano exactly but definitely if you do that you need to have millions. <laughs> millions of uh, of pesos uh, to do that, no? And that's uh, that's uh, what happened I think with uh, with MPI kanina. Okay? So, um, I think yun na muna yung last na question, no? And right now, dalawa na lang po. Uh, I'll go to two more na na stocks uh, na re-reviewin natin and then we'll call it a day. Uh, dun sa mga hindi naka, dun sa mga hindi ko inabot kanina or yung mga natapos ko na pero hindi naabutan, don't worry kasi I'll post yung yung timestamp sa YouTube channel mamaya. Okay? So, ayan. Now, the last two na I'll take up are unahin ko itong kay, um, kay Jean Load. Ayan. So, for Load Star Okay. So, uh, a range ko sa kanya is between 0.80 hanggang 120. No? Pero, since nabasag na nga itong 120 sa kanya, as I have mentioned nung nakaraan, I look for opportunity to sell. Okay, I look for opportunity to sell dapat yung kahapon no pero kanina red red candle. So that means I'll wait for tomorrow if uh, if I'll be given a chance uh, to see a green candle then doon ako papasok. Ay, sorry. Doon ako magbebenta pala. Ibig ko sabihin. Okay? So I look for opportunity to sell which is I'll be looking for a green candle then doon ako magbebenta. Okay? So, ayan. Ngayon, kung wala akong hawak na load, then I'll wait. Intayin ko siya, bumaba pa yung presyo, nasa, nasa around 0.80 hanggang, point, hanggang 1 peso. Doon ako bibili. No? Tapos, or kung halimbawa man kaya niyang umabot sa 120, then I'll wait for that breakout. Tapos, I'll buy at the uh, I'll buy at the pullback. Okay? So, ayan. Next, after load, I'll go with green. So, ito na si green yung last natin. So, green naman, ayun, uh, maganda rin, no? Kasi it's also a bounce, no? A bounce play coming from a 350 na support. So, closing at 389, kung meron akong hawak na green, I'll hold. I'll set my cut loss at 350. Kung wala naman, then, kung, I mean, kung wala akong hawak, then I'll wait. Kaya pa pa mag-wait or okay pa rin yung 389? Ah, pwede pa. Okay pa yung 389. Okay? So, ayan. Uh, yeah. Basically yun. Uh, may mga question dito. Uh, meron ka bang coin silog na YouTube channel? Yes, meron. A- akin din yun. Pero, hindi ko, may, may video na ba ako doon? Hindi ko lang maalala. Uh, Arlan, so sacrificer yung charge ng buy and sell sa cross sale. Mm, I'm not sure what you mean by sacrifice ha, pero technically hindi naman. No, it's not a sacrifice. It's it's just that kasi parang ano lang yan eh. Um para lang hindi maapektuhan. Kasi ganoon din naman eh. Uh, masyado lang kasing malaki yung yung sale natin gagawin, 'di ba? So para lang alam mo yun. Uh, maka ano tawag doon? Para para mas madali, mas convenient we'll just do the cross na lang, na lang. Kesa sa, isasalang natin siya sa market na pwedeng, depende kung magkano yung presyo, no? Eh, baka magka-problema pa. And actually, yung iba mas kinukuha yun kasi kung halimbawa, within the ano naman, within the group, parehas kayong call user o parehas tayong call user, might as well. Willing ako magbenta, willing kang bumili, so let's do the cross na lang. Okay. So, ayan. Ayan. So, guys, hanggang dito na lang po muna tayo. Pasensya na kung hindi ko kayo na-entertain lahat. But I hope you have learned something, no? Kasi at the end of the day, lahat ng mga share naman natin dito, eh, I think na- na-explain ko naman ng maayos yung thought process kung paano ko siya in-execute and kung bakit ko siya in-execute ng ganong way. Diba? Kasi, again, application lang ang, ma- ang matitira sa inyo. So, kahit na anong hawak ninyong stock, or kahit anong gusto nyo gawin na sa stock, eh, pwede nyo siyang i-analyze on your own. No? So, ayan. Okay? Uh, so, ayan. Hanggang dito na lamang po muna tayo, mga kapatid. Maraming maraming salamat for, for tuning in and uh, enjoy and good luck sa inyong trades. Good night. 
See you tomorrow. Ayan. See you tomorrow, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.